Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program. Here I have the F101 Voodoo and it is modeled by me in Blender except for the wheels, which are stock wheels, modified by a few mods like Realism Overhaul. And then the engines, which I believe are stock engines, uh, modified by Advanced Gen Engines and maybe Venstock Revamp, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, the control surfaces are all B9 procedural wings, including these uh, horizontal stabilizers, the rudder there. Uh, but yeah, otherwise the body, wings, and vertical stabilizer I modeled in Blender to get it a good look. Now the real F101 has a nice smooth transition between the body and the wings, but because I made the wings a separate part, uh, it was best to have a flat surface to attach them to. And so it ended up like this. So not quite the best, the smoothest rendition of the F101 ever. But I'll show you how to put it together because I'll put the parts in the video description whether they work or not. And you just type in F101 in the search field and they should be at the top. And so this is the body. Uh, little bits of it like where the engines attach are a little bit icky but it's okay overall. And unfortunately, you can't put the wings on in symmetry because they're fundamentally asymmetrical uh, top to bottom. So you can't just uh, do that symmetry, which means that the control surfaces are a pain to put on because you can't put those in symmetry either. Okay, so left wing and right wing and vertical stabilizer. And then you're going to have to figure out how to place the B9 procedural control surfaces on. And I'll just, you know vaguely demonstrate, you know, you're gonna have to figure that out. And the reason why they're asymmetrical is the flaps go down here. But these flaps don't uh, act as uh, control surfaces, they're pure flaps. They just extend down. So, yeah. And then the ailerons there. But anyway, that's the body. It's very simple. It's made for realism overall. I haven't tried it out in stock. Um, if you do try it out in stock, uh, do delete the RO configuration in the folder and you may want to adjust the amount of fuel that's in here. It'll have liquid fuel in there if you've deleted the RO configuration and uh, just make sure it's not overburdened and it really depends on what jet engines you slap on. Okay, uh, with that I'll take the fully built version out to the runway and we will see how it does. Okay, here we are. It is a two-seater. Um, I wonder how the cockpit looks. Well, I mean, I, I just used the stock cockpit, so... Um, it looks like it's too far back. We can see the bubble of the cockpit there. So yeah, it, it's set too far back right now. Sorry about that. Anyway, we better get started because it's sliding back. Throttle up. Uh, atmospheric autopilot on. And ignition. And we might as well have far up. And we want to see if this can get to a decent speed. There we go, getting off the runway no problems, as it's fuel, full fuel load. Again, uh, because it has two engines, unlike the F-100's one engine, we're expecting good performance. I hope it's not gonna take a whole lot of effort to get it past the speed of sound. That would be shocking. But will it get to its rate of velocity? I don't know. This seems like the climb rate to use if we want to save fuel. And I do want to save fuel for when we actually want to push the velocity boundaries. Again, it seems to fly well. So again, you should only set these to be flaps. Uh, like so, flap active and then flap deflection. I set all the pitch yaw and roll to zero on those. And then um, here obviously nothing and then roll. Uh, the horizontal stabilizers. Just pitch. And the rudder. Just the yaw. Seems like this is the shadowy side and this is the nice, nice side. I used to have a model of the Voodoo, it's a uh, nice plane. The model, I had it in a light grey though, that I think is the navy version. Okay, let's level out at 10 kilometers.
and I'll see how fast it goes without the afterburner. Okay, as you might expect, it's creeping up to Mach 1, but not really punching through decisively without the afterburners, but this is a good sign anyway, Mach 9, 0.94 and all. But let's get on with it. It has to get through that transonic region, especially. We should probably not be going up while doing that. Okay, having lost some altitude, and... I think maybe we can start pulling up again. Maybe I didn't start this high enough. Let me try going up without breaking below Mach 1, I don't know. Okay, well we can go up while keeping past the speed of sound, but... I would really like to get a little bit faster than this. Okay, well now we've got more height. Let's see if we can put it to use. Yep, now we've got good acceleration here. Uh, not without afterburner though. Let's just keep it on. I'm looking at the fuel though. I do want to get back home. But this is looking much better. I think uh, we gotta get something comparable to the speeds that it's supposed to be able to do. If we add enough fuel to get there. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, rub. Should have gotten higher initially before starting the afterburner. Anyway, it's at Mach 1.5 and accelerating. I think I'll take that. I need to turn around and go back home. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to try and land it too. Yeah, how far out are we? Pretty far out. I mean, more than the breadth of uh, Florida. So it's going to be a fair trip home. I'll use physical time warp. That should give me 15 minutes of fuel right now. Okay, uh, there's the cape. Oh, I should probably take it out of physical time warp now. It's a bit disorienting. Okay, well, there's the shuttle landing facility. I think that's the runway we will use. It's really a nice looking plane. I like this plane a lot. It's probably my favorite of the Century series. F-104, probably the second. Okay, we should probably get into a locked view now. wonder if I got the uh, flaps action grouped. No, I did not. Well, we'll go without flaps then. Typical. I should have put on some air brakes. <laughs> Well, let's get the landing gear down. Hopefully that'll add some drag to the situation. Maybe I can manually deploy the flaps. I don't know how bad that's going to be. Not too bad. But... Speed-wise, let's see, can I get less throttle out of this? Not really.
Maybe I should turn the ailerons into possible air brakes or something. But here we go with S turnish like things. But we sure do accelerate when we go down now. Well, here we go again, going faster than I ought to. Just, just gonna preset the brakes. got a lot of lift right now because it's light I think oh it's getting off it's getting off to one side uh, it's doing this sort of loop-de-loop -loop thing well as long as nothing breaks it's good right right so we're sideways on the runway and here is the F 101 I hope it brings somebody some pleasure I think it'll actually be something I will like to use quite often myself so there's that anyway thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time